What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, got a quick thing to touch on now. Uh, if you're uh, involved in gaming at all, you know The Division came out uh, about a week or two ago. Um, there's been some controversy as to the game itself and people's opinions and reviews on the launch product. Now, Destructoid gave the game a 6.5 a few days ago. And they were crucified, destroyed on the internet, on Twitter. Everybody said they're crazy, whatever. Now, Destructor gave the game a 6.5. Jim Sterling gave the game a 6.5 also, which a lot of people had a problem with, whatever. Now, once again, of course, a lot of people don't like this game, and there's a lot of people that do like this game. So, of course, there's also two sides to the coin, just like everything else. Um, now, IGN came out with the review yesterday, and they rated The Division a 6.7. Now, uh, Hip Hop Gamer has been defending The Division for quite some time. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a, he's a fan of the game. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Um, <clears throat> but I let him know because I knew he was one of the people that are, are a fan of the game, and he's been kind of supporting it uh, even since before launch. I let him know that IGN gave the division a 6.7 because um, he obviously didn't agree with the Destructoid or Jim Sterling or any basically any negative review people that like the game aren't agreeing with. So he says, like, like I said, I tweeted him this yesterday, the day of IGN releasing the review. He says he has to read why they gave it that. He didn't see the review, but if it's a 6.7, they are out of touch with the culture. That's very interesting because, honestly, IGN usually overrates games, and if a game is bad, uh, Destiny, for example, um, The Division, I would have thought they would have gave The Division like at least an 8, 7.5 or an 8, but they gave it a realistic, deserving rating of 6.7. Now, he says that they're out of touch with the culture, so IGN's out of touch with the culture. Interesting. Here's the... Um, the screenshot of their actual score and why. Beautiful world, RPG elements, and solid combat, which are all true. The bad things are static open world, which means it doesn't really change much or do anything. It's not very alive. It's just a pretty much a boring open world. And thin end game, which means that once you get to the end of the game, there's no content. Thin end game. Not much to do at the very end of the game. Not much content once you actually finish no replayability. So it's like, you know, that's a that's a 6.7. <laughs> They're coming out with three DLCs. There's there's not much content. There's what 20 to 30 hours of content in this game. Once that's done, there's really no replayability and the multiplayer dark zone is really kind of pointless. So, you know, whatever you guys think on this, uh, leave your comments, opinions below in the chat. Uh, dislike, like, whatever you want to do. Um but yeah, I thought that was interesting. He says that IGN is out of touch with the culture, even though that's one of the biggest spots, biggest sites, and sources people actually look to. Now, if they would have gave it an 8, would he say that? But you be the judge, guys. Peace out. Just a quick little thing I wanted to touch on. At Show You Near PSN. Catch you guys next time.